Welcome back, guys. It's me, Mr. Frederick, once again. And today we're going to be talking about world problems and involving quadratic equations, especially area problems. So we're going to see how this applies and how to approach them. So we have the world problem, which is the width of a rectangle is three units more than the length, which I wrote right here. If the area of a rectangle is 70 square units, what is the length? So the length, I wrote it right here. Since this is the width, length is three more. So it's length plus three. And that means just the length is just the length. So what is what are the length and the width of the triangle, of the rectangle, I mean? So to do this, we know that the area is equal to length times width. So we're going to we're going to substitute each of them. So this is the width and that's the length. So area is 70 square units equals the length, which is the L times the width, which is L plus three. Okay. So let's distribute this first. So 70 is equal to L squared plus 3L, okay? Next, we're going to move this, we're going to subtract the 70 and move it to this side so that it can equal to 0. So that would be L squared plus 3L minus 70 uh, equal to 0, okay? I'm going to bring this up here. I'm going to rewrite it. 0 is equal to L squared plus 3L minus 70. Okay? So now we're going to factor them. So two numbers that give me 70 when I multiply. So this is going to be L's. But when I add them, it gives me 3. So the number that comes to my mind is 7 and 10. 7 times, seven times, seven times 10 gives me 70. And 10... Um, minus 10 minus 7 also gives me 3. So since the 3 is positive, that means the 10 has to be the positive side. And that leaves the 7 to be negative here, minus. But now, when we equal this to 0, L plus 10 equals 0, that makes L equals to negative 10. And this L is going to be positive 7. Okay? And since we're talking about what are the length and the width of the rectangle, we're going to take the positive one because there's no, there's no negative lengths or widths in real life. Okay? So that means I'm going to take this positive 7 square units and I'm going to replace the here. So L is 7 square units. So that's the, that's the length. Now the width, which is L plus 3, is actually 7 plus 3, which is 10 square units. Okay? So our length, so our length is 7 square units. And our width is 10 square units. And when you see the area, 7 times 10 does give us 70 square units. There it is. Okay. So actually, yeah, the L is 7 units. And uh, the W is 10 units. And when you multiply them, it will give you 70 square units. Yeah. Just that correction right there. Let me just make sure that's correct. And that it, we see that correct and good. Okay. Just recap. So the width will be 10 units, 7 plus 3, and the length is already 7 units. So when you have 7 units times 10 units, it gives you 70 square units, which is the area that we found here, which was given. All right, guys, that's it for this problem. Um, take care and stay vigilant on the next problem that I'm going to be posting soon. This is Mr. Frederick out.